Effectively managing account strategy, related goals, and stakeholder involvement is something that every account manager has to do in order to nurture customer relationships during the sales cycle. In this video, we'll deep dive into the new account plans, what they entail, how you can get started, and of course, what kind of customizations are possible to make this feature your very own. Speaking about the plethora of possible business requirements, what you can do in Salesforce doesn't stop at custom report types. The world beyond native applications and solutions is vast, but as an admin, you're going to want to deliver the best of Salesforce's features all the time, and now you can with Salesforce Foundations. Salesforce Foundations gives you access to more of Salesforce, and it's now easier than ever as you can get started with the connected customer 360 by building foundational apps into your CRM at no additional cost. Yes, that's right, for free. Get access to sales deal management, service case resolution tools, marketing email campaigns, commerce storefront, and more with this free add-on today. And if you want more info or need more convincing, check out the demo at salesforceband.com foundations, which you'll find in the description below. Sales account plans became generally available shortly after the Winter 25 release and were progressively rolled out to all Sales Cloud instances by the end of November 2024. Similar to many other Salesforce features, you will simply have to toggle the switch on within the dedicated Sales Account Plan setup page, add the related lists to page layouts or record pages, and you're good to get started. Once account plans are enabled in the production instance, you should request a sandbox refresh to try it out in a test environment before deciding if it's the right tool for your use case as is, or if further customization will be needed, such as adding a few new fields on the newly created objects. Make sure to also review object and field level permissions. An optional feature you should consider enabling at this point is the buyer relationship map, which is also available on the account plan record if you choose to use it. Since it is also included with Enterprise Edition and above, you should definitely try it out. Now that the setup is done, the plans are accessible from individual accounts as a related list, which can be counted as an enhancement to both the functionality and the user experience. When creating an account plan, the only mandatory fields are the account, as well as the account plan name. Depending on customizations you chose to add during setup, more information may be required before creation. Multiple account plans can be created and used as a versioning mechanism every time a new plan is needed. When viewing the account plan record, the top of the page out of the box dashboard displays key information from opportunities. The account plan itself includes fields and field sections, as well as other components on the right-hand side, similar to other Salesforce objects. As part of the readily available fields, your team can input details about their SWOT analysis and the competitive landscape. Of course, your organization can choose to use a completely different framework or further customize these sections. It's entirely up to you. Account plan records are private by default, but account managers can choose to manually share account plans with their colleagues directly from the record page. As an admin, you can change this behavior by updating the organization-wide defaults if extended access is needed as soon as plans are created, rather than relying on granular record-by-record -record sharing. The good news for both admins and Salesforce users is the fact that account plans are actually individual records. Not only will the captured data be stored in fields, but you can also build granular reporting using native Salesforce reports and dashboards. This can be leveraged by sales leadership during reviews and QBRs to track progress and dive into the latest updates made to account plans. Account planning is a strategic process involving collaboration and customer conversations 
to align on different goals, needs, and next steps. When it comes to the execution, having the possibility to track the various steps and take action accordingly becomes paramount. Salesforce has got you covered in this regard as well, with objectives and sales action plans. Selling will always remain a team sport, especially in large organizations with a longer sales cycle. Account plan objectives allow you to create as many objectives as needed per account plan, regardless of their nature, so that the effort that goes into executing the plan can be tracked accordingly. These objectives can be assigned to different individuals and each record has a start date, an end date, that are mandatory right from the get-go, alongside the owner. During the creation, your team can determine if the objective is measurable or not. If it is, they can choose between currency, percent, or number as a unit of measure. The current value and target value will also have to be input for progression to be accurately displayed directly on the account plan. Salesforce admins have now the option to leverage the new objective metrics calculation definitions in the sales account plan setup to define filters for how opportunity, case, campaign, or contact data is aggregated to serve as the current value for one or more account plan objective metrics. This definition will become available to use across multiple objectives as needed, while also standardizing the filters. This change makes the current value permanently accurate without users having to go in and manually update it anymore. To use a calculation definition on a new or existing objective, users simply need to select the active one they would like to use, and this will make the current measure value read-only, as it will be automatically calculated, but the target value still has to be set. The records considered for the calculation will have to be selected on the side panel, but if they don't meet the filter criteria, they are not counted towards the objective, just towards the record count. Another feature Salesforce did announce last year is the strategic tracker for account plans. This is being rolled out starting March until mid-April 2025. If you're already familiar with the industry's action plans, sales action plans are an extension of them, with the same standard objects being used. They have their own dedicated setup page under Sales Account Plans, where you can manage permissions, customizations, and templates from. The strategic tracker will appear at the objective level, as you can see, since this approach allows for granular tracking. The sales action plans can contain both tasks and events, depending on the actions that the objective owner will have to take as part of the plan. Sales action plans can also be leveraged separately on other standard objects such as accounts, opportunities, and even leads. Whenever a new sales action plan will be created, the template is mandatory to select. Based on the settings at the action plan template level, users may be allowed to add more items at their own discretion on top of the predefined ones. The new objects, account plan, account plan objective, account plan objective measure, and account plan objective measure relation and even the action plan are available within Object Manager for you to further customize based on your stakeholders' requirements and business processes. Customization, however, does not solely mean creating new fields, validation rules, and maybe changing page layouts. For example, you could easily build a flow to notify the account team from the related account that the new account plan has been created. The same automation could just as easily update the account fields if warranted. Alternatively, why not automatically create the account plan record and related account plan objective as soon as an account over a certain annual revenue threshold is created? Ultimately, you can choose the automation you would like to create, but it's important to consider these as soon as possible to lower the manual efforts 
and ensure a smooth experience for all users. If your organization has already purchased the Einstein for Sales add-on or simply acquired the free Salesforce Foundations SKU, you could easily use the account plans related list as a resource in your prompt templates for rich grounding. This option can be especially useful in scenarios where multiple account plans exist and the account is transitioned to a new account manager. Field generation prompt templates, on the other hand, can be leveraged to streamline the account plan completion directly from the record page. Of course, prompt templates can be used as agent actions, providing your users with complete and up-to-date information about everything that has been going on within the account plans. An agent force agent could be set up to summarize all of the account plans. All in all, the sky's the limit when it comes to the number of use cases. Out-of-the-box account plans have been a long-awaited functionality, and surely, a lot of Salesforce professionals dove right in, following them becoming generally available. By removing the need to acquire third-party tools or build a custom solution from scratch, the account plans, alongside the customizable measures and objectives, can supercharge how your team works and further enhance your organization's account-based selling initiatives. Have you already tried out the new sales account plans? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.